Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Wednesday, June the 8th, the year's 2022. Let's talk trading. Patience. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Patience. You know, we talk about waiting for your entry and then waiting for your exit and, you know, cutting your losers quickly, letting your winners run. But I don't know if I actually or if we've actually really looked at what patience means. So I uh, brought up a or I Googled patience and I like this, the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Now, you know, we've talked a lot about brain management. I think that really sums it up in a nutshell. Um, you know, when we look at brain management, let's see, where is brain management? Right here. You know, some of the fear and the regret all probably um, get back to someone who failed to have patience. Now, what's really interesting is when you think about it, is patience, I, I use the word have. But I think that's not the uh, proper way to say it. Patience is something that you have to actually do rather than have. I think it's more of a discipline. One, part of it is, is the waiting. And then the second part is controlling your brain, your reaction to what's going on. So, for example... Um, I just got out of a trade uh, just a few minutes ago, right before I started up the video. And what had happened was, right here, price hit the 40 line. And if you've been watching my videos for over, say, the past year, you know I call the 40 area on the pound dollar whenever price is XX40 or 4X, anywhere in this 40. Price likes to launch. And it usually will launch to the, about the 50 or 60 area. And if you look back here, if we look at the H1, you can see here it hit the 40, then it hit it again, and it launched almost all the way up to 60. I think it was like 59.4. Then it came back down. And so when it did, I said, hey, we're hitting the launch pad again. And so what I did was I entered. And as you can see, uh, well, whatever, uh, it hit a high of 41.8. So I had a pip, or a little bit more than a pip that I could have easily taken, but I didn't. Well, you see what happened next. And I, the thing is, I said, that's on me. And I just waited. And no, I didn't even have a stop loss here. And the reason I didn't was because when price got down to here, it was in the rat zone. And the other thing that I had going in my favor for a while was M30 and H4 were the same color. And so I looked at the M30 chart and I looked at the H4 chart, and I said, you know what? I think this is going to go up. Not to mention, <laughs> this is the uh, top of the lower wick zone here. And from here to here is the lower wick zone. And I know price doesn't like staying in wick zones. So I had the patience to wait it out. Not to mention, I jumped in a, I jumped in a second time, and then... What did price do? I jumped in here. Why? Because I looked at this bar and said, that's a return bar. And you guys know I talk about return bars all the time. And so price came up, hit that, 
and I exited that particular trade because I was pretty sure price was going to hit that, you know, fill that return bar. And as you can see, it did. Then price came here and I just exited that second part of the trade right around here because there was another return bar on, actually it was on M5, this, this one right here. So I basically came out of all three trades with the profit. Now, of course that's lucky, <laughs> but because all wins are, are luck, I can't control the market, but I had the patience to wait. But <laughs> last night, I failed to exercise patience because what had happened was price was below the open and then somewhere in this area let's see let me I have to go to the pivot So price opened at 88, and then the pivot, today's pivot was, oh, I get that mid dots, was at 25.39. Well, that would have been a really nice trade had I stayed in it, but I didn't because price dropped and I moved my break even up where I'd make 1% on my account and price came right back up to hit my break even and dropped and dropped and dropped. And since it was overnight, it actually gave a second chance to get in. But let's see. As you can see here, it dropped. I get that. I had a second chance to get in, but I was asleep. And then it came down and hit the pivot. So that was on me. I failed to exercise patience. Not to mention, you see this big bar here? <laughs> That's a huge return bar. Um, and that was on H4. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, let's see. There was this return bar here on the uh, M30 that I could have also played at the uh, start of the new day. So we could probably see it a little bit better here. Right, there's a nice return bar there. And you can see, I believe this was actually on M5. There was another return bar. No, that's from today. We're looking at M30s. There was this return bar right here. So, you know, knowing these few things, but not having the, you know, moving my stop because I didn't want to lose. I didn't want to give back and miss out on the opportunity to take 1%. But to get back to the main uh, point, patience, you know, the two pieces, one is the actual waiting, and two is the controlling of the brain. And there's so many things that can uh, run through our minds, and it's real easy because another thing that's been happening, and it's not just been happening to me, but also been happening to Walmart. We were talking about it before. He had to go today, so he couldn't get on the video. Um, had some business to take care of. Is we've been watching slippage of up to two pips. He said he had a winner, uh, like a one, almost two pip winner, and he, by the time he hit the exit button and the price moved it moved against him and turned it to a loser and he was not too happy about it <laughs> but you know this is trading anything can happen and 
that's something that's outside of your control, outside of our control. There's no reason to be upset. Now, a lot of people would say, you know, well, that's just a sign of maturity. I don't really think um, that maturity has anything to do with it. I think it more has to do with um, working on what you need to work on and overcoming your weaknesses. Maybe that's what mature people do. I don't know. I guess that's up for debate, but has nothing to do really with trading those type of semantic debates. But in trading, you know, part of it is there's just really, you know, really no reason to get mad because most things are outside your control. You know, you can control when you enter, <laughs> when you click the mouse, you can control your position size, you can control what you trade, when you trade. You can control how you trade. You just can't control what the uh what price is going to do and so you can see here price is right at that launch pad area and i don't know if you noticed it or not because i have the uh the buy and sell buttons up there for you because i wanted you to see what i was talking about to see just how prices moving you know right there there was a three point move and there was another one i mean it's just really moving crazy and by the time i click it almost it'll almost do two ticks before it will get me out of the trade did you see how quick that moved there i mean it's not a smooth move at all it's definitely a herky-jerky look at that and so that's the kind of thing we've been dealing with and walmart has a couple of brokers i have a couple of brokers i think we have one broker in common and we're just seeing it across the market i don't know if they're trying to mess with us uh, scalpers or what but this is just awful i mean sometimes it'll move in your favor like right there um but it's just really going crazy i think think let's see if we hit f9 we can bring up a tick chart but you can just see just how herky jerky it's moving And you know, I just noticed something. There's a delay between this and this. See, look at that, 35.2. Huh. Hmm. I'm going to have to, uh, maybe I'll send, the, uh, send this video and let them see what's going on. And now, of course, I know, I, I know what they're going to say. It's my computer, but I don't think so. That That's really very interesting. So, um, fellow traders, let me know which part of patience or which parts of patience you find the hardest. Is it the actual waiting or is it controlling your emotions while you wait and or re, your reaction to what the market's doing while you're waiting? Because when you trade, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one over and out.